Okay. So. Oh my, none of my papers are matching up here. So let's see. Okay, who's next? Hi, Naki. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? It's an intense time for me. An intense time for you. Okay, so... Bigs up and downs. Okay, so let's hear what you wrote. Mm -hmm. Read your email to me. Dear Katie, a couple of days ago, walking in the street, there was the understanding that my thoughts create the world that I experienced. Then it felt like like an abyss was opening around me, like a pool of nothingness. And with this feeling came fear. Fear of that, of nothingness, of dissolution, or rather fear that by stepping into that pool and leaving behind my dream world, I would not find the real world, but no world at all. Fear that I would be disconnected, alone in a cold and friendly universe, like an astronaut cut off from his spacecraft and the world, lost in a nowhere. And it seems to me that this fear appears any time that I feel close to that dissolution through understanding. Yeah. And so, there have been... so the moment that you start to fall into what you see as the abyss, it looks to you like you're just floating away like an astronaut on a spaceship with no way back into an abyss. Mm -hmm. That frightens you back Mm -hmm. into this false world you see as reality and safe. And there are very few times you feel safe in it. Bodies aren't safe. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We have proof of that all over the place. So if the moment I... My ego imagines the next nanosecond I'm frightened back into what you see as the world, the identified world, the world of the ego. So, you experience that for a moment? That's what brings you back, sweetheart. So, There's nothing enlightened about it. You're not close at all. It's just one more terrifying thought. No different. But enough to keep the ego strong and identified. Like, that's what it is if I let go. That's what I've got to prepare for. So I think I'll prepare for that. Okay, let's prepare for it, okay? (laughs) Okay? Mm -hmm. So you have a pencil and paper. Yes. All right. So imagine yourself as that astronaut in the abyss, and there is, hear my words, there is no way back. That was your fear. There's no way back. There's no help. And the further you drift away, the further you drift away from any help whatsoever, and there's no return. You're never going to see another human being. You're never going to get help. You're never, and this is never going to end. You're not even going to die. This is forever. This is your fear, right? Okay, so now on that judge your neighbor worksheet, what are your thoughts as that astronaut? I am terrified because. I am lost and alone. Good. So write down, I'm terrified because I am lost and alone. That's statement number one. Now, in that moment, Mm -hmm. what do you want? It brought you back. So it's really important, all of you writing this worksheet, it is really important that you, that we're collecting the thoughts from that fearful place in time, that situation where you feared it. 
We don't want your uh, enlightened thoughts here. We want the we want what you were actually thinking in that moment. You were frightened. What did you want? I want to feel safe. Okay, so. Anything else? What do you want in that situation? I want to be me. That's what it okay. Mm -hmm. so, so write that down. Now, what advice would would um, what advice would you um, you know what what were your thoughts about should or shouldn't? I should. I shouldn't. I shouldn't trust this. Good. I shouldn't trust this. Any other advice for you out there in that moment? I shouldn't let go. Good. I should not lose control. Good. Okay, so now, so in that moment, in that situation, you feel that terror. What do you need to be happy? What would take you from that terror to happy? I need a helping hand. Okay, so write that down. What do you need to be happy in that situation? I need some people to join me out here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and to be happy, you know, the, back to the, those needs, you know, I need... Anyway, your thoughts are the preferable ones. So now let's go to um, to I am or it is, the abyss is. The abyss is. Cold. Cold. Terrifying. Terrifying, yeah. Empty. Mm -hmm. And forever. Disconnected. Disconnected. And what is it being lost in space like that? What is it that you never want to experience again in that situation? I don't ever want to be alone. Yes. Isn't that it? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Cold. I don't ever want to feel so cold. Yeah. Okay. So, um, on. You're, at, you're in outer space, you're in that situation. You're lost. Is it true? In that moment, look around you. Look out. No. The, do you see stars? What do you see? Or is it just all black?
you were out there. What do you see? Nothing. Okay, you're alone. Is it true? I mean, you're lost. Is it true? Yes. You're lost. Can you absolutely know that it's true? Look again. And how do you react? What happens when you think the thought, I'm lost? What happened in that moment? I feel a contraction. And cold? Mm -hmm. And who would you be without the thought, I'm lost, just in that moment? In the nothing. <laughs> Who would you be without the thought, I'm lost? Curious. I'm fine. I'm mm -hmm. lost, turned around. I'm not lost. What is the opposite of lost? Found. I'm found. You're there with yourself. You have met someone. Also, there are three of you. There's nothing. That's something. There's the you, you believe you to be. And then there is someone found that is curious. Notice how the cold went away. Mm. Let's look at statement two. Those of you that need to sign off, I think I, I think that time's up. And those of you that, that want to um, to stay found in space with us, you're welcome to continue. Thanks. So let's look at statement two. I want to feel safe. I want to feel safe. You are not safe in that moment. Is it true? Yes. Give that question some time in that moment. You're not safe. You've just been found. Can you absolutely know that it's true you're not safe? No. Other than your what you're thinking and believing, are you safe? Yes. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know, some great some great person said, um, "Imagination is everything." I think it was Einstein. Imagination is everything. You imagined yourself, your imagination frightened you, not the abyss, not the imagined abyss. The abyss has a terrible reputation. It's so beautiful. I'm not safe, turn it around. What is the opposite? I'm safe. So give me an example in that moment, I'm safe. 
other than what I, you th- other than what you're thinking and believing. Give me an example. I'm not safe. Oh, give me an example I kept, of I am safe. I kept walking, and walking lifting. on what? I was I, my body kept walking. Let's say so. I was obviously safe. Nothing happened to so me. So you kept walking. Yeah. That's familiar to you. That's not strange. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. safe. I remember asking myself in that moment, are you okay? And the thought was, so far, so good. Or something yeah, like that. Uh-huh. So I was safe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not one terrible thing there. A totally friendly universe. Not one thing to hurt you other than what you're thinking and believing. That was a question. No, nothing was happening. Mm. Only everything was happening here, yeah? Completely so. You know what I love about the abyss? It's an opportunity to do the work. until you no longer need it. And when there's no return, there's no way back, when you realize that, you're free. That ends the past so a a future cannot, has no ability to project again. There's nothing to project. Yes. That is knowing oneself. The abyss is like earth. It's the same. Pure imagination. I remember thinking that in that when I brought me back with the fear, the thought came, you think you're afraid of that, but you would be so lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. No decision, no fear. Mm-hmm. So, um, statement um, three. I shouldn't trust this. I shouldn't trust this. Is it true? In that moment. Well, I'm asking you now. Look back on it. No. You shouldn't Mm -hmm. trust this. Is it true? What is truer? I shouldn't trust this or I shouldn't trust my thoughts about this? I shouldn't trust my thoughts about this. I mean, every time you hear a truth, it's it's like you leave the world of children and step into the magnificent, the mature. So, I should trust this. Give me an example. I should trust this. Any time that I trust even a little bit of it is lovely. Yeah. Now there is a reason to trust. Mm -hmm. It makes for a lovely world, a lovely experience, as opposed to terrifying. Okay, the next one. I need a helping hand. I need some people to join me. Is that true? You need a helping hand. Look at you out there. You need a helping hand. Is that true? No. (laughs) 
And notice how you react out there when you think the thought, I need a helping hand. And you just keep floating further and further away. Notice the emotions that happen when you think the thought, I need a helping hand. Cold. Yeah. Closed. Yeah. Contracted. I don't need a helping hand. I don't need a helping hand. Hmm. Examples? Other than what you're thinking and believing, are you okay? I am. Completely. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you know, this is an this is an odd turnaround and it's just coming to me. You know, other people need a helping hand. And it's such a privilege for me to sit with you, witnessing the same thing. You know, I was out there, and I'm here to support you out there. And you are free to support others who are afraid of out there. And any time we're believing our thoughts, we are out there. And we equate that apparent something with nothing and believe it's better. Ego's tricky. Let's look at the next one. And, and sweetheart, before we move, I don't need a helping hand. A helping hand would make you happy out there. Is it true? I mean, you are doing okay on your own. There's a helping hand out there. You can tell them how, how terrified you are, and they can say, yes, me too. <laughs> Sounds more yes. like the world than... <laughs> yes, it's not very helping. <laughs> no, not very helpful. Okay, so... The abyss is cold, terrifying, cold. empty, forever, disconnected. My thoughts are. My thoughts are cold. Yeah, they're the cold. abyss, and they're cold. They wouldn't give you the home where you're at. My thoughts are. My thoughts are cold, yeah. My thoughts are terrifying, yes. They would keep you from such a beautiful experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My thoughts are empty. Completely not valid. No substance, yeah. My thoughts are forever. Ouch. So what I love about the work is we make friends with them. Mm -hmm. The next time you're in the abyss, which is all the time, the next time you're in the abyss <laughs> and you feel frightened, capture, mm -hmm. identify what you're thinking and question it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It could, and from it, that, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And it If could, I love them, they don't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, when you love them, they completely lose their power because they're secure. They don't need your attention. So the next time you have the thought, for example, the abyss is terrifying, you experience laughter, and it's like this. Before the work, the abyss is terrifying. After the work, the abyss was terrifying. It's 
We just don't have to tell people it's not terrifying anymore. Yeah, the abyss was terrifying. I worked through it. No longer terrifying. It's like the, the, the abyss is empty. Oh my God, the abyss is empty. After the work, the abyss is empty. <laughs> you know, it just becomes another place to be still. So not even thoughts are an enemy. It's They're misunderstood children, that's all. And once you love everything you think, you love everything you see. No more fear. Just connected. Grateful. Energized, warm. <laughs> I don't ever want to be alone. Turn it around. And willing to be alone. Mm -hmm. I look forward. I look forward to being alone. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah, because all you're going to discover when you're alone is yourself again. With people, without people, fear is fear. You know how to take care of it. And you know, people um, like the abyss are your pure imagination. People. Just like the abyss, we are not who you believe us to be. Mm, okay. Like the abyss, we are here for you. Without, without, um, ex without exception. Thank you, Anyaki. Thank you, Katie. You're so welcome. <laughs> Enjoy the abyss. You know, the next time you find yourself there, oh, it's like, thank you, God. What a break. <laughs> and then you can thank yourself for sharing again. <laughs>